Okay, hey y'all, today we're making choppers with fullers in them. Um, so I got two students, both veterans, and we're gonna have some fun and uh, oh, share the secrets of the ancient world with you. Let's go. There you go. All right, now we're gonna tune up this profile a little bit. So we want it to be as flat and as nicely profiled as possible. Otherwise our knife will come out looking like the way I make pancakes, which is not round. All right, go ahead and put it in there. Now I wanna make sure it's all flat. So this overlapping thing I was telling you about, so I'm gonna go here, squeeze it as hard as I can. So I'm uniform thickness pretty much, and I got the profile I want. We're gonna run our fuller down here, and then we'll start forging our blade out. All right, over here, I'm gonna bend it a little bit more. I always knock the high spots off, and then just, some spots are pretty thick like that. Works good now, because it's not leaving lines. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. And then give it a squeeze. There you go. And just hit that spot. If you hit too hard, you're going to put a dent in. If you hit like this, you'll put dents in. And fix it. So what are you doing? I'm just pushing it back in. And blending that little weird thing out. All the way to about here. So is this the intended length of the finished blade? It'll get a little longer, but it should be about 10 inches. From that hole to here is like 10 inches. I don't want to take that point out, okay? I don't want to go all the way out there. And we want to start about right here. I'm going to go ahead and draw this. I don't think we'll have too much trouble with these. And the cool thing is I'm going to set the depth on it so it'll only go so far. I'm going to start like right here. So, so my first pass is not super, super nice, but that's okay. That's why I set it pretty shallow. So I'm gonna go back and run it a little deeper and clean it all up, okay? And then we'll stop about right here. That should come out nice. But yeah, stop right there. Go ahead, man. and you can squeeze it all the way down. All right? All right, go ahead. Yeah, all the way. All right? All right, go ahead. All right, go ahead. You guys are right-handed or left-handed, right? Right. Okay, right-handed, so if you're forging with your hammer, Right hand. When we're, when we're using the tongs to guide us and we're holding the steel, so the steel's gonna go in your left hand, which is usually where it is. The tongs are gonna go in your right hand and we're gonna work underneath that hammer. I'll be on the other side, I'm gonna guide you with these. This is gonna be very important to hit it harder or softer as I tell you to, okay? So these tongs, I'll show you. When you grab this, pull it out. Don't grab it over here, pull it out and grab it right behind that little fuller right there, okay? Don't grab it like this. See how that won't hold? Okay. Grab it like this. Now you can get good leverage on it and you squeeze it back here. Grab, and there's the fuller. I wanna grab right behind it. Wow. 
And that's where my edge is going to be. I'm going to yeah. define that a little bit more, but I just went down and came back. Now I'm going to do a little bit more, and then we're going to get both of y'alls in the same place. I've screwed up more knives than most people have made, okay? <laughs> Yeah, they do that side. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go right here. Ready? So I'm just going to come here, I'm going to just tune, I'm tuning the whole thing up. I'm going to knock that down. Same thing with this. All these bumpy things here, while it's still thick, you can take them out. And it'll, it'll take time, fellas, but you'll be able to, um, Make a knife really, really smooth. These are gonna come out smooth. Now once I get this a lot closer, we're gonna set the depth on this thing and really squeeze it. Now what it will do is it'll kick that up more. We'll grind that off. We don't have, we're not gonna try and forge everything back in there. We're gonna just take off what we don't want. See how we have this really kind of sharp transition here? We're gonna do lower heats and we're gonna blend this in a bit. All right, and then we're gonna go in, I'm gonna set that a little deeper and we're just gonna go a little chomp, chomp, chomp deeper and clean it all up. We're not trying to move stuff, we want really light, even blows, okay? Yeah, that looks a lot better. See that line? We're knocking that line out right there. Nice. Yeah. All right, get it hot again. Yes, sir. Doing good. We're going to work across the dies this way. Starting at the point. Yep. Across the dies. Yep. Like this. All right, go ahead. Uh-huh. Take your time and be a real act. Can you feel it in the groove? Yep. Okay. You're good to go. Yep. Good. Nice. Yep. Good. All right, now that back is wrinkly, of course, so. Mm hmm oh, this thing is easy. All right, let's turn it over. A look at the edge. All right, now let's go here. Now, eh, get a little, like hit it right here, like right there. doing is forging a chopper with a fuller in it. Uh, I think this is the first time they ever forged like big choppers and so we're making a little bit of a recurve kind of a little bit of a drop in there so just something you can go chop the woods down. It's going well. Tomorrow we'll start hardening and tempering and all that. If you like what you're seeing and you like what we're doing and sharing 
go support us on Patreon. It's a big help. It allows us to shoot this video and be in this crazy shop and make knives and have a great time. And I want to share that with you. So go to Patreon and be a member of the tribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And be a maker.